So team, keep it clean. Um, something that we talk about in video. I feel like maybe recently we haven't been talking about it enough, though. Um, it's just to check in on people. It, it's so important to check in on people. See how people are doing. Try to keep up with people. And I know it's hard because we get busy. We get so busy. I got to do a better job of it myself. Uh, but things can get so busy like that with, with work, with, with school, with, with family, with, with just anything, with life in general. Because life is busy. We always got something that we're doing. We always involved in something. It's always something going on. But it's really, really important to really try. Uh, try to check in on people. Um, and, and to be good to people, too. It's, it's so important to be good to people. It's a nasty world that we live in. It, this, this is a nasty system. It's just it, it's disgusting. Um, it'll chew you up and, and spit you out in a heartbeat. Um, but it's important that you check on people. Or just, hey, you ain't got to ask nobody for nothing. You could just send somebody a text. Hey, I was just thinking about you. That's it. I was just thinking about you. That's all. Um, because people need it. People need it. Uh, it's, it's so many people that are, are going through stuff, um, and we may not even have a clue. We, we may not have a clue in the world what they're going on. Um, like with Chuck. With Chuck. I, and I didn't know him personally. I just knew him through conversations and stuff on Twitter and whatnot. Um, but he seemed like an upbeat guy who was always joking around and stuff. We we was on the same boat uh, for DeAndre Hopkins. I know he was somebody that was like, hey, I want to give up. I'll give up a first round pick for DeAndre Hopkins. Um, but he was struggling. He was struggling. And I had no clue. Um, and even when when I read his tweet from yesterday... I just thought like, because he was like, oh yeah, this is my last tweet. Um, I hope Ravens do well this season. Da, da, da. So I'm thinking, all right, he just, he just talking about, because I, 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 didn't, I didn't take it as anything. I thought he was just going to be logging off of Twitter for a while, taking a break from Twitter for a while, and that was going to be that. But no, it was obviously a lot deeper than that. So he was struggling with, with something. I don't know what it was, but he was struggling. He was fighting. He was fighting. And he, he was going through whatever it was that he was going through. And it's tough. And I, I just, just watching his uh, Instagram story from last night. Um, it, was sad. it was really sad, man. Just because uh, you could like hear the, the pain in his voice. And he talked about how he, it, it was really tough for him to have lost uh, somebody that was really close to it. He said, that hurt. It hurt. And he talked about a lot of different things that were just, that had been hurting him. Um, so it, 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 it was tough, man. I'm like, man, it, he, was, he was really going through it. And it, it sounded like from just reading all the, the, the messages that he wrote, from, from hearing him speak about different situations and whatnot, it seemed like he had just been battling stuff for a while. Seemed like he had been fighting stuff for a while and just really going through stuff for a long time. So you feel for him, man. But um, it sucks, man. The situation sucks. It, it, it's really sad. And it's sad. I, again, I didn't even know him personally. And so I, I, I feel even more bad for people who did know him personally. And, and obviously for him, for what he was going through. And he, he had kids and whatnot. Um, so you feel for them, you feel for his family, his friends, all of that, man. It's tough. It's tough. Um, then I'm finding out, I just found out last night that he was somebody that was pretty well known up there in Baltimore. A lot of people knew him. So, um, it sucks, man. You just, you, you, you really, really never know. You never know what people are battling. You don't. So... Try to be good to people. I know everybody ain't good to us. Everybody ain't always good to you. It, and that's, that's, that can make you tougher. Trust me. I speak from experience every day. Every day. It's people that people will try to talk to you any kind of way. People will be disrespect to you, disrespectful to you, rude for whatever reason. It happens, whether it's online, whether it's in person, wherever. People are going to be people. 
So we get that, but you got to try to just still be good to people. Even though, despite, in, in spite of all of it, I got, it's tough. Because people are facing issues. They, they got issues, man. Um, yeah, it's crazy, man. It, it, it's crazy. Um, you, you, you just don't know. You, you don't know what battles people are facing. Um, that's why I always, I always talk about how for me it's just a lot of stuff is just not worth it. Like the arguing, the back and forth. Like if we're going to go back and forth. Like debating, healthy debate, cool, 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 cool. No problem. No worries. That's fine. No, that's fine. But arguing... Yelling and screaming to the top of my lungs that used for over football. No, because for me, I I I, don't try, I try to maintain my peace as much as I can. Because the reason I say that is because there's so many things in this world that will try to disturb your peace and take away your peace. It's so many things, so many people, so many situations. Just life. Like dealing with life, so many things will try to take away your peace. So it's your job to try to protect it. But if you don't have peace, that can be rough. That can be really hard, man. That can be really, really hard if you don't have peace. And if you're facing stuff, dealing with stuff, it can make it tougher. And me, I, I know I'm, I'm very busy. I'm very busy and... um. I, I can't always respond to stuff right away as far as messages and stuff. But for anybody, if you facing something, if you hey, you need to talk about something, if I could help, I, I would love to. I may not be able to respond right away, but I I I, I would love to. Cause I, I don't want ever anyone I don't any I don't ever want anyone to feel like they can't like reach out to somebody. Cause it's people that feel isolated. People that feel helpless over some stuff. It's people that's just it's, it's people going just just going through stuff, man. It's just they just going through stuff. And uh, another scary part is that there's there's people that like will go through stuff. They'll be going through something, and sometimes they they may not even know how severe it is or, or how badly it's impacting their mental state or just yeah they may not not even know how bad it's impacting them. So they may keep it to themselves or whatnot. Not that you got to put all your business on front street. I, I ain't saying that, but you got to have somebody to talk to. Every, every, but we all need it. We all need somebody to talk to. And, and we need multiple people to talk to. Because when, when we have multiple people to talk to, not everybody has had the same experiences in life. So if you have multiple people you can talk to about your issue or your issues or things that's going on or whatnot, they can provide help based on their life experience, based off of things that they know, based off of things that they done been through. So reach out to people, please, because it can help. It can help. Now, my situation does not, obviously does not compare anything to, to, to this, um, but for the whole the whole YouTube thing, I, I mean, I had told my wife about it. I told my mom about it uh, when it first happened. And it, it was real stressful. It was, it was really stressful. It was very tough. It was very, uh, it just, it hurt. It hurt. Again, this, my situation does not compare to this situation at all. But um, it, it had hurt. And I, I had planned on just keeping it to myself, keep it, or keeping it to my, me, my, my wife, my mom, and that's it. I was like, I, I don't want to tell nobody about that. I, I just, I, I don't. I was hurt about it. I was upset about it. I was all that bad emotions about it. I was going through all that. But then I, I, I was like, you know what? I talked to a couple people about it. It's like I told y'all. I talked to my guy, JT. It helped a lot. I talked to my guy, Jason. It helped a lot. I talked to my guy, Nitro. It helped a lot. And... After I talked to them, like, because people, so 
that's another thing too. If you're going through something, sometimes people can tell. Sometimes people can tell that you're going through something. Cause I remember there were some videos prior, and I was still like, something happened with the Ravens, um, and I was still like make a video on whatever it was. But people could see like that there was something going on. Cause I would see it in the comment section. I would get messages on Twitter and stuff. People know. Um, then I was like, I was still thinking like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna just keep it to myself though. I'm gonna keep it to myself. But after talking to them, I was just, I was glad that I talked to them because they uh, they helped a lot. And then I was like, you know what? Let me let me just tell team keep it clean. Let me let me let them know. And I was glad that I did um, because that that helped the whole situation. Um, it helped. Uh, just to get it out for people to understand, because that's another thing too. When people people can't help you, or not necessarily that they can't help you, they can help you better if they understand what the situation is. Um, and again, every situation is different, and they're not people are not always gonna understand everybody's situation. But people can help you better when they know what's going on. And not that I was looking for help or anything like that, but um, just to see people's willingness to help, uh, to see people's, like, just even just the positive messages alone. So many people to reach out. So many people, like, hey, let, let me, uh, I like my guy, Goth. He was like, oh, man, like, let me let me try to get you the phone number for this person on YouTube, and let me try to get you connected with them, and da 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 And, and just pe- people literally going out of their way. They didn't have to, but people going out of their way to to help and, and show love. It's, it that, it was crazy, man. That's why that situation, like for me, it, it just it it hit here big time, like it really did. Um, but it just showed how people can be in a good way. Um, but again, that situation was minute compared to this. And what Chucky was going through, whatever it was that he was going through. So it's just, I hate that it's, it has to be a reminder that comes like this, but it is just another reminder. Check on people. And again, try to be good to people. Um, try to protect your energy as best you can. Um, try to be positive as best you can. You know, all that, all that stuff is way easier said than done. Way easier said than done. But we got to try. We got to try for ourselves. We got to try for each other. Because, again, it's, 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 it's so easy. It's, it's, it's so easy to get caught up in the negativity um, in this world. It's so easy. Because so much negativity. And, and that's the thing. Negativity gets promoted. It gets promoted. Left and right, left and right, left and right. Negative this, negative that, negative this, negative that. Negative, negative, negative. It gets promoted all the time. Y'all see it. Y'all know. But um just try to try to be positive, man. Try to be positive, try to be good to people. Um, just try to be the best person that you can be. And it sounds so like cliche and whatever and maybe corny or whatever, but hey, that's that's fine. If trying to be the best person I can be, me personally, is corny, hey, pff, call me corny all day. I don't care. I do not care. Cause it's tough out here. It's tough. It's really, really, really tough. So, um, yeah, man, again, you never know what somebody going through. You never know, never know. And that's whether they treat you good or bad. Somebody could be treating you great. They could be the nicest person, the nicest person in the world. Every time you interact with this person, you're like, oh man, they're great, they're really nice. They could be struggling like crazy. They could be struggling like crazy. And on the flip side, same thing. Somebody could be really mean to you. You'd be like, man, why are they always so mean? They're always so grumpy. They're always so like, oh, man, I can't stand this person. They could be struggling like crazy. You just never know. There's not, there's not a certain look for struggle. There's not a certain look for somebody that's like dealing with a lot of issues or, or just has a lot of pain in their lives. There's, there's no certain look. Because they could be smiling bright as day. They could be down in the dumps. There's no look. You, you just never know. That's why you gotta try try to be good to people. But I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. 
because uh, it, it, again, it 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 sucks thinking about that uh, somebody was facing stuff so much and, and stuff was just building so much for somebody that they they were hurting that bad that they did that. So it sucks. And again, like I said, it, 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 I'm really sad for the people that knew him personally. I really knew him personally. Um, it's just rough, man. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Like we always say, I, and I, even though we say that every single video, I do really mean that every single video. I mean that. I ain't just saying it just to say it. I mean it. I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep your heads up. Y'all just, again, try to be good to people, man. I appreciate you. I love you, and we gone.